Historians debate the true founder of the holiday, signed into law by President Cleveland in 1894. This weekend, millions of Americans will hit the road, fire up the grill, and swarm to the beaches for the Labor Day weekend. The holiday has evolved dramatically from its origins, which are debated today. What is clear, though, is the designation of Labor Day as a federal holiday in 1894 arose from a tenuous labor dispute in Illinois. The Pullman strike, remembered today as a landmark in American labor history, caused such ill feelings between workers and the government that President Grover Cleveland, as a conciliatory measure, signed an order establishing Labor Day as a federal holiday on the first Monday of September. However, Labor Day was nothing new in America. Some believe that its roots are actually Canadian, in an 1872 parade in Toronto to support a strike against a 58-hour work week. A decade later, a proposal was presented at a Central Labor Union meeting in New York in May 1882 for a monster labor festival in early September. More, here are six great Labor Day weekend events. A festival, free music and food among the highlights more, did Iowa's unemployment cuts get people back to work? Economists, business leaders and workers still don't know. The result was the first Labor Day parade, held near City Hall and along Broadway in New York on September 5, 1882. Police, concerned that confrontations might occur, surrounded City Hall on horseback and on foot, many of them carrying clubs. An hour later, only a handful of marchers had shown up, and there was no musical accompaniment. Just in time, 200 members from the Jewelers Union of Newark arrived with a band, and the procession began. Spectators joined the parade, and finally, some 10 to 20,000 marched through Lower Manhattan. At the end, some workers went back to their jobs, but many spent the rest of the day at a party that included speeches, cigars, and lager beer kegs, mounted in every conceivable place. Who suggested the first Labor Day is debated. Many accounts credit Peter Maguire the General Secretary of the Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners, and a co-founder of the American Federation of Labor. McGuire reportedly in 1882 proposed an annual celebration to remember those who from rude nature have delved and carved all the grandeur we behold. He suggested a street parade to publicly show the strength and esprit de corps of the trade and labor organizations. Maguire is said to have witnessed the 1872 commemoration in Toronto, and wanted something similar in the United States. Maguire's role, though, has been challenged in recent years by the emergence of the story of Matthew Maguire, a machinist and member of the Knights of Labor, whom some believe first proposed that the Central Labor Union organize a celebration of labor. More, opinion, more people are quitting their jobs. Let's try organizing instead. <laughs>